we are living in a unprecedented times perhaps the most difficult era after world war 2 in in the era following the world war we saw some of the most significant and game changing developments that world has ever seen we learn from our history that after world war 2 world was ready to embrace new innovation and invention we 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 saw that after world war 2 world invented many new technologies in in 1948 sony invented transistors that changed the electronic industry forever and created something we call computers and with the creation of internet we saw explosion of information and communication that transformed the way we work and live today by 1950 polio vaccine was in, invented that reduced the number of cases worldwide by late 1950s soviet union sent first artificial satellite sputnik orbit setting the race space race between the two superpower of time and by 1980 first human heart transplantation was performed japan had a very weak invention system after world war 2 but however government made certain actions and by 1970 japan became the top patent contributing country in the world we hear the word innovation around us all the time we see seminars and conferences being held on innovation we hear corporations talk about it we see startups build many great innovative products but little do we hear about inventions although it's good to see the amount of focus on invention but it's important to understand the difference between the two invention is the creation of of something new and unique whereas innovation is the practical implementation of the invention for example when a new technology or product is invented it leads us to believe that because we see it directly and experience it it leads us to believe that this is important however that is the result of invention and that product is because something somebody some day invented that product that is why it is important to cultivate the culture of invention just to put things in perspective here are the numbers of top 3 patent contributing countries in the world and here are the numbers of some developing countries in the world as you can see the difference is significant although pakistan is seven times smaller than india in in term of population but we are 60 times lower in term of number of patents there are several reasons to it but to me the most obvious reason is the lack of awareness many inventors are not aware of how patent system works one of the so how can we cultivate the mindset mindset of an inventor one of the way is to attach yourself with hobby as much as out of the box that may sound but over the years my sporting activities have led me to create many invention documentation in 2016 i embarked on a journey to become become an inventor and at the same time i be embarked on a journey to become a long distance runner and an endurance cyclist with my local groups and friends normally when any idea would come in i will make a note of it and try to get back to it and see how technology can solve that particular issue i have most of my inventions have come up either during running or cycling i realize that 
you don't have to be a rocket scientist to be an inventor. It could be a very small thing solved in a new and unique way. One of the inventions that is very close to my heart is speech to media translation. So one fine morning, I was cycling with my friends and at the 50th kilometer, I realized a solution to a problem that was bothering me for a long time. Few years back, I visited rural area of Pakistan where I couldn't communicate with the local because they couldn't understand, read or write and neither could I understand them. From human history, we understand pictures are the universal language and this is the case for the signs engraved in Egypt pyramids. So boom, I came up with this idea, why don't we convert that picture into a, that is, why don't we convert that speech into a picture whereby if I say I feel, I feel happy and I feel sitting on top of the mountain and it's converted into a pictorial format. This journey since 2016 has led to 10 patents and publications so far and I become the top patent holder in the long history of IBM Pakistan. Another aspect of my journey is my global experience that I've gained working over 170 countries. I realized that developing country individual mostly work in silos. Whereas we need, we need to have a think global, go global, scale global approach to enhance the inventions. The think global aspect encourages inventors to look into the local market problems. For example, in Africa, hippo roller was invented because carrying water was a very tiring and time consuming course for children and women. Through this product, 90 liters of water could be carried on a single trip as compared to 20 liters before. Thus, the Go Global aspect encourages inventors to look at the global problems. For example, life straw was invented by a Danish person as a portable filtering device to help millions of people around the world with clean water. The scale global aspect encourages inven inventors to develop sustainable and efficient products. Liter of, liter of light was first established in Manila in Philippines and 700,000 units were installed in Manila and later scaled from Egypt to Peru. So how can we cultivate the culture of invention? One way is to is to provide support and resources to these inventors. This is absolutely necessary. One of the initiatives that I volunteer based out of UK and to be scaled globally is Mission Beyond. They are on a mission, they are on a mission to help youngsters attach themselves with the right mentors. This is more of such initiatives are needed locally as well. The other aspect of cultivating the invention culture is, uh, is by cooperation and collaboration through which inventors and innovators can build upon each other's idea. Invention and innovation sometimes lead to taking risk which might lead to failures. But failures are not bad thing. Failures are a way to learn and improve and value of failure must be promoted. Recognizing and celebrating the success of inventors creates a mindset of growth. By rewarding the inventors, you can tell them that inventions are necessary for, for economic growth. To put things in perspective in terms of economic growth, 
when a new technology or product is developed, it leads toward new businesses and industries. For example, when internet was created, it led to the creation of technological sector, which opened millions of jobs and contributes to the GDP. The second economic growth aspect is the sustainability and efficiency. For, for example, steam engine allowed vehicles and machines to be operated, uh, which led to the development of industries and increased output. The third and the last aspect of economic growth is to create a culture of competitiveness. For example, when a business creates a new product, it can outperform its rivals and capture large share of market. In the end, world is again in need of the boost that we saw post World War II, much of which is happening after the development of AI. Let us become, let us create the culture of invention which can play a pivotal role in economic growth by creating frameworks, building hobbies that can develop your mindset by having right approach, new industries and businesses can be created and by intellectual property licensing, foreign direct investment can be increased which can lead toward increased GDP of our country. Let us become the inventor of tomorrow. Thank you.